Every time a dog and a child meet, it is vital to have all these meetings under your control until the dog and the child get used to each other. For their first meeting, it is important to choose a place where the dog feels comfortable and can leave whenever he wants to. Thus, during the first meeting, the dog should not be kept in a corner, a narrow corridor, or in the back of a car. We must not force a dog or a child to meet. The child should have previously been informed about the ongoing situation, know that the dog is well behaved, and how to treat him. Never introduce a child to an aggressive dog or, oppositely, a dog to a child who is angry or upset at the moment. Choose an open space. Put the dog on a longer leash and keep it loose enough. The dog should not feel prevented from moving, but, at the same time, you must have him under your control in case of an unforeseen situation. Prepare treats. The child should come closer to the dog slowly and without any rapid movement. During this, control the dog and observe how he reacts. If he is calm, the child can come close enough so that the dog can investigate him and sniff him. If it is okay, let the child hold out his hand towards the dog slowly. After the dog sniffs the hand, the child can offer him a treat. It is important to inform the child that the dog may snap at the treat and, even if this happens, the child must not make a rapid movement. If the child is older and everything is alright, he can play with the dog and give him a few treats so that the dog is ensured that he is safe, there is no danger, and that the presence of the child is not only agreeable, but also advantageous. Before the meeting, inform the child how to treat a dog and what will be going on. Provide enough time for the meeting. Do not rush anything. Never force the dog or the child into a meeting. Do not pull the dog towards the child and vice versa. Never introduce a child to a dog in a place from where the dog cannot escape. Even after the first meeting, do not leave the dog and the child alone together. They may not perceive what is comfortable for each other, and unwanted situations may occur.